Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2. You can see I edited my guy. He's got a Volcom shirt now. And this is post-commentary this time because I really struggled. This episode's going to be all about the first game, and we start off in downtown Minneapolis, which I don't really remember. Or at the time, I didn't remember. I kind of have a better idea now if I were to get this game again and play it, but I'm deciding to do post-commentary because you'll see there's a lot of splices in this video because a lot of these were like one goal at a time runs and so I just kind of like cut to the chase to try to trim it down to the usual length so yeah I am back in this post commentary situation I am now back from England I just bought a whole bunch of stuff I have a PS4 now uh, and I got some Switch stuff lined up since Link's Awakening was promised via Patreon oh my gosh so yeah, this is going to be weird post-commentating this because I don't remember what I was doing. But, uh, yeah, as always, I'll dub some kind of free music in the background just to add a little flavor to the silence. Even though it is kind of cool skating silent, too. I like this hallway. Uh, between this and New York, I still like New York better, but... This is pretty cool. I think if I practiced this and really memorized it, I would like this. We got secret tape. That's pretty easy. But yeah, there's no point in keeping the commentary that I had throughout all this or do a post-commentary faking as if I'm playing it. <laughs> That's not happening, dude. I have done that in the past for older projects, but I don't really do that kind of thing anymore. So yeah, I believe this run is just kind of all about getting that tape and trying to do some kind of score thing and getting my bearings as to what's actually going on in this level. That was weird. I tell you, man, I have horrible luck with ramps in this game. But yeah, I could get this for PS4 and play it all again. Still don't know about the PlayStation 5. Like, I wasn't intending to get a PS4, but it was kind of like gifted to me in a way. I mean, it was. So, I got Spider-Man coming up, Watch Dogs 2, and the new Watch Dogs Legion is coming. But hopefully it all works out. I don't know how I'm going to record those just yet, but... I think there's music in the, those games as well. And I want to be very careful not to do anything shady that's going to mess up my channel or something. Ah, I got the pro score last second. Not too bad. That was a decent first run, I think. The popcorn buckets are fun, but I don't think I do that right away. I had trouble finding them. I had to look it up, I remember. So yeah, that was a cut right there. I think this is all about stat points. There's that one, and then this one I, have, I struggled with. I'm pretty sure there's a cut here. So I edited this back then, but... Because of the music situation, I never actually finished the video. Yeah, I missed it, so that was a cut. Till when I finally got it, you can see the whole session is almost over. It took that long to get that thing. It was a pain in the neck. It is a cool stage, though. I forgot all about the Ollie, the taxis. I think that might be the next goal that I do here. Yeah, this is a sweet game, man. Just watching this again, I, I want to play it. So I probably will get it for the PS4. Looks like it might have been a cut to a session where I actually do something, because I know I had a lot of failures as well. So yeah, it looks like I'm going to collect skate this time. I like the outfit though, the Volcom shirt and the Volcom hat and the Sambas. I think I get a different pair of Adidas eventually. He actually kind of looks like uh, the lead singer from Pennywise. He was always wearing a black hat and stuff like that. I don't know. What's his name again? The original dude? Jim something? Can't remember. Why? That's gonna bug me. Ah, well. Like in that other video, the last video where I couldn't remember the Skate Street thing. But I remember it now. I slept on it. That's pretty cool. Nice car plant, too. Wow. It's exciting watching my past self go through this. No, not really. That's all right, though. Tony Hawk is always kind of cool to watch. It's because of stuff like that. How you can just 
grind on anything, pretty much. I was watching my girlfriend play uh, Skate. One of the skates. Skate 2, Skate 3. It's like a totally different dynamic compared to Tony Hawk, which I guess is more arcade-like. Man, hey man, it's what I know. There's the popcorn buckets. That's pretty cool. I like the lighting of the movie theater. Marquees and stuff. That thing I struggled with originally, but then I got the hang of it. So how's everybody doing? Ah, I restarted the run. That's all right. Got two, two bills there. A cut. What are we doing? Breaking the signs or doing the taxis? Or is this all just for the stat boost? That might be all I did. <laughs> Crash into the pole. Yeah, here we go. Ollieing the taxis. So you can see all of these were separate sessions. Like I said, I was doing like one goal at a time, not knowing what the heck I was doing. Compared to New York, that was what, two sessions or so? I finished that whole stage. Oh, I might get the signs here, too. I don't know if I realized I cut that out if I do. Or maybe I wasn't paying attention just now and I've already shown running into it. Who knows? Popcorn bucket up there. That one is tricky, but there you go. There's all the cars. That's right. They're not taxis. New session. Okay, I didn't do the signs. There is a goal in this level that I do not do. I did not record it, and I cannot play this right now until I buy it on PS4 again or something. Um, so yeah, we're going for the no skate signs. But yeah, the rooftop gaps. The hardest one is jumping from the roof and landing. <laughs> nice. Welcome to the Midwest, Pilgrim. <laughs> It's a shame you can't hear them, though, because they drive away. That's a cool set of rails, too. I like those. But, uh, what was I gonna say? The rooftop gaps. Yeah, there's that one off to that little kicker ramp. One of them is really easy. Oh, do I get the V now? Yeah. See, that's a gap, but I missed it there. But I did this off-screen. I did 100% both uh, games, but I didn't do the free skate stuff 100%. And none of that is recorded. I think there's six parts of this. Oh, a cut. What the heck was that? Oh, well, here we go. A new session. I guess I broke the signs. I didn't even see if I completed it. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> yeah, we're going for the popcorn buckets. This is a cool goal, though. But yeah, I did not do the rooftop gaps, and I don't have any footage of me actually doing it later. That's a cool grind, too. I just like going into that little movie theater. It's pretty neat. I don't remember that in the original. Kind of, but barely. Unless it's new, but... So there you go, one of three rooftop goals. Oh, almost missed the popcorn, too. Actually, I think it was my girlfriend who did that harder gap. I could get the two, that secret room and then the easy one, but I could not, for the life of me, land on that rail. It's like where the secret tape was, you jump off of a ramp on that roof and land exactly on a rail, and you have to grind it, and it has to be the right rail, otherwise it doesn't count. And by the time I was really seriously attempting it, my stats were too high and I kept overshooting the rail, or not making it at all. But did I just complete it? I heard the... The jingle. It is a cool stage, though. I just like these downtown themes. And there's the last popcorn bucket. I remember I wasn't sure if I was going to get this with the time. And then running into that same issue of the hang time and the air seemingly non-existent. And there you go, the five popcorn buckets. Oh, that's all that happened. So yeah, six score and complete the rooftop gaps. I don't think I did either. Unless I do six score right here. No, he's cut to downhill jam. Yeah, this level was a pain in the neck. It always was. But yeah, Madonna in that gap that's like right there. I do that eventually, but that took a million attempts. Another reason why this is post commentary, because yeah, it was a pretty disastrous thing. 
That's pretty cool, but then I got mad that I missed that. So I think I was just going at the end just to see what it was like at the feel for it. Yeah. Totally missed all the valves. I think all I do here is the high combo or something. That was supposed to be an air walk or an indie. I did the wrong trick. I got the goals confused. Oh, high score. Okay, yeah, there you go. The easy one, me too. Yeah, see, I didn't get the gap, but I think that was the right grab trick. I don't know. I gotta look at the goal list. At the moment, I forget which one you do. But that's one of the gaps. And then that really hard one, you got a Madonna over. That was so hard to do. The huge water gap, yeah. So this is like a proper session, I think, now. I don't know if it was actually this one. See, a little stuff like that when you miss the pipes. It's so frustrating. I don't know, what do you think I'm gonna do? I don't remember. I think we're gonna get the valves and maybe skate. That's looking like what I'm trying to do. Got the hard hats too. So come up here. Do I botch this up? I think I do. Well, yeah, yep, I botched it up. I can just sense past me being pissed off right there. Because <laughs> that does happen. I don't always show it, but sometimes when I'm playing these games, I get really angry. Luckily, you can just get right back up. So we got Ska! Too bad the YouTube free library of music doesn't really have any good ska punk sounding stuff. Because what's Tony Hawk without that? This is cool though. But I think I messed it up. No, I did get it, but I missed the point. And I missed the V as well, but I did get it eventually. This is a cool set of uh, jumps leading to the secret tape. Which I did get, right? Yeah, okay. I got worried just watching it. And then, didn't get enough height for that last valve. Or no, it's not the last one, it's the second one last. Gotta slow down, and go the idiot way. I do remember this, I barely pull it off. 15 seconds left to get to the last one, and you gotta wall ride it perfectly. Oh yeah, and I missed skate for this too, because I figured you gotta get at least one of the goals. Missed it, yeah, <laughs> that's the thing I remember. What was that, one goal? No, two. So yeah, that's why this is post-commentary once again, because there's just these little, like, ones and twos due to suckage. Oh, here we go. Oh no, that's the stat point, not the Madonna just yet, but yeah. Cutting back to the roof to get the stat point. I think I missed the V, though, still. Missed everything! What are we doing, collecting skate? Is that what this is all about? No, just giving up because we suck. <laughs> Makes sense. Didn't achieve anything with stat points. But yeah, anyway. Obviously, going for the hard hats this time, it seems. Or skate. Maybe the Madonna. I don't know. But to bring it back to real life, I suppose, I just voted. It's the last day to vote. And uh, I just did it. I'm not going to say for who, because I don't want to cause chaos. And, uh... Got to apply for insurance really soon. Got to play the Age of Calamity demo. Just bought a Link's Awakening, as promised, on Patreon. So that's really supposed to be happening before this one, since you patrons voted for it, but... Since this was available to me while I was in England, I decided I'd just record it and get underway with it. Because it's a short one. Link's Awakening is going to be longer than this series is. What the heck am I doing? I don't even know. See, that's the problem with post-commentary. You just don't remember what you did if it's really that far ago. Long ago. Oh, wait. Is this the part where I struggled? Well, I got Skate. Did I get all the hats? I know this hat pissed me off. Nope, see, that was that must have been the pissed off moment. So now it's a new session trying again. Yeah, because that last hat, I struggled. I went up the ramp like eight times. Oh, the Madonna. This is so hard to do. 
Maybe I'm not trying it this time. That was like my first attempt. Now we're going for the hard hats, and then we do the Madonna next time or something. The hard hats is a good run. I like where they place them, except for this one. This one's such a pain in the neck. It's like a little mark on the ramp is when you go up. Yeah, the rust. I think I missed it a few times here, but not nearly as bad as the part that just got cut out. There we go. And then the last one, I think I overshoot it or something stupid happens because it always does. No, I did get it, okay. So now what? Do we do Madonna the last minute? Maybe this is when we do it. No, I guess not. I think I'm trying to build up speed for it. Yeah, that's what this is all about. Totally gonna not make it. Yeah, so that happens a lot, and then I think I cut to when I actually do it. Because there was a lot of failures trying to land this thing. New session. There it is. That is such a hard gap. Even with stats all the way up and stuff. I mean, they're not maxed out yet, but they're pretty high up. That's another one that I don't really remember being that difficult in the original game, but who knows. And then we got this gap. What was this, the air walk? Yeah. So I did that, but I didn't get the gap the one time. So there you go. The pro sick and high. I think I do that off screen way later. I think I was fed up at this point with this level. So just a little bit more to go. Oh yeah, Burnside, my least favorite of the competitions. The tricks are all still the same. What did I boost here? Probably maxed out the vert stuff, I would guess. Or maybe rail is maxed out. Oh yeah, getting all those weird ones up. So Burnside, I'll tell you right now, all these competitions I placed second in. It wasn't until later that I turned on, there's a cheat menu. They call it the mod menu. And you can turn on perfect balance, no bails, and then still achieve these things. You can play the entire career mode with those cheats and it counts. The only thing that the cheats are not allowed in is like the ranked leaderboard stuff in free skate mode and a speed run. So that's how I got gold medals in the competitions. I turned the cheats on and just did these huge combos. And then I got like those 99.9 .9 scores each heat. But obviously I did not do that here, so don't expect any gold medals in the competitions because they are, they do expect really big combos in order to get gold. And that's hard to do without perfect balance and stuff. Yeah. And yeah, I never really liked the, I remember this stage a lot. Going back to talking about the basement days in middle school at my one friend's house. We played the heck out of this level in graffiti mode, I remember. But yeah, going back to it now, I really do not like this stage. Like, a lot of the bulls automatically kick you out. So I found myself bailing a lot. Because I was expecting to go up like a traditional pool, and then it kicks me out. So then I just like, you know, 900 into the pavement or something stupid. This bull seems alright, though, if you're... If you have good vert stats. But then again, you gotta... You gotta do the combos, otherwise you're not gonna get a... So you gotta do grinds and manuals and ultimately end it off with some kind of a grab. Anyway, I feel like I'm not really talking about anything interesting this time. But maybe it's nice to give you an actual modern day commentary to let you know what's going on. See, there's a good example. I wanted to restart. But I rolled with it and got the silver eventually. So yeah, if you're kind of tired of the Tony Hawk stuff already, tired of Crystal Chronicles, which just ended, even though there's some bonus videos still, I already did them, or I released the multiplayer stuff. But we got Link's Awakening, Age of Calamity, so lots of Zelda stuff for everybody who only watches the Zelda stuff. It's not a randomizer, I know, but it should still be interesting, I hope. And then a lot of PlayStation stuff coming up. <laughs> Not sure about Mario Galaxy yet. I still haven't purchased the Switch game. And uh, I'm not too sure about the PS5 at the moment. It's still on my horizon here. 
And being that this was played on Xbox, like, I wish I had all three, honestly. Just for access to all the games. I still gotta do Mega Man 6. I have access to all the Sonic games. Like the old school Genesis ones. 1, 2, and 3 at least. So there you go, that's a silver. And yeah, Watch Dogs 2 and the new Watch Dogs Legion. If it's possible to record those and it's not like a super long game. And doesn't run into copyright issues or anything crazy. Uh, they would be cool to do. Because I remember seeing the trailer for Watch Dogs Legion and I thought it was really awesome. But I know they played like Clash music and stuff in there, so... I don't know if that was just for the trailer or what. We shall see. But hopefully it'll add some variety to the channel, aside from just old-school Nintendo stuff. Even though that is kind of my thing. But... Anyway, sorry for not talking about the game now. It's Post-commentary is weird. It always is. But yep. Almost done with the slop. Made some good progress in the first game. San Francisco is a great level, though. I really like that one in the... Uh, the first one. But I can't remember part five if we go... Oh, it was bronze. Never mind. I sucked. Yeah, streets. That's what it is. San Francisco streets. So yeah, once we get to there... It might not be next video. It might be the last one. I can't remember. But that's a, probably the first game's best level. One of them. So yeah, just pretty much stats. And then I always edit my skater off screen and show you the new outfit later. So thanks for watching, you guys. And I'll see you next time. Take care.